What's up, guys? So, I wanted to add uh, custom main menu videos to my theme, or not my theme, but the Hypermax theme in Retrobat. I didn't want it to use just a random video from that system. I actually want them to be main menu or main system videos, specifically the ones that I like, the Hyperbat 2 videos for the most part. Um, and then I got, I, when I was diving into that, I kind of noticed that everything was way out of order. Like you've got some systems that are in the wrong spot. You got like model two and model three aren't next to each other. You've got like arcade systems mixed in with console systems. Nothing was even really in alphabetical order. Um, you can set it to alphabet and it'll be completely in alphabetical order, but it's an alphabetical order based on uh, their weird names for things. So if you put it in alphabetical order, you're not going to have Nintendo systems bunched together. For example, Super Nintendo and Nintendo Entertainment System wouldn't be next to each other. One would be an N's and the other would be an S's. Or you can group them by system and you'll have the systems grouped together, but then those aren't in alphabetical order. Uh, so you'd have like all the Nintendo stuff grouped together, but then maybe next you have arcade stuff and then after that you have Sega stuff and it just didn't seem to make any sense. So I went through and I edited my own main menu and after I was done with that, I edited my own main menu and then I put in my own videos. So uh, let me give you a look. start here with Atari. So I, first I went and I did all my consoles. I grouped them by manufacturer but I, and I also did my best to put them in alphabetical order um, for the most part. I wasn't going to be picky like if if Lynx was after ST it wouldn't bother me. I mean it's right here. It's in, it's in order. So I went Atari right and then I've got Bandai Sufami Turbo and then we go to Nintendo, we've got 3D, NES, I still gotta get a video for that one. We've got Nintendo, Super Nintendo, so tell you, you got all your Nintendo systems, okay? And then you got all your NEC systems, which there'll be a lot more if you have them all on there, I don't. And then you've got Panasonic 3DO, again, um, pretty much in alphabetical order. You got your Neo Geos down here, which is actually SNK Neo Geo, so. That's why those come later. And you got Sega all together. So you can see all the consoles together. There's no arcade system mixed in. You got Sega all the way down, Dreamcast, Game Gear, and then we got Sony, PlayStation, PSP, okay. Um, I'll have PS2 and some other things in there too at some point. And then I've got computer systems, okay? So that, now we're done with consoles, we're gonna go into computers in alphabetical order, or at least I tried. So we've got Amiga, we've got Amstrad, we've got Microsoft MSX123, we got MS-DOS, and Ve Vectrex, and then Windows games, okay? All, again, all grouped together. So we don't have any arcade systems mixed in or any uh, console systems mixed in there. And then we're gonna go into the arcade system. I've got Maine, the Thomas Wave, Daphne, Model 2, Model 3, which these two weren't even next to each other uh, before, no matter how you group it, which I find really strange. Model 2, Model 3, like how are you gonna, they're the same manufacturer and alphabetical order, like it's literally the same name. <laughs> one has a 2 and one has a 3, so I'm not sure how they got those mixed up. And then we got Naomi, Sega Car, Trident Horse, Techno Parrot. Neo Geo, and then we've got miscellaneous stuff. Mugen, Open Bore, Pinballs, and then at the bottom, we've got our collections, okay? Beat em up, platform, beat em up. Favorites, Capcom, K, TPS 1, 2, 3, and we're back to where we started. So, 
I like this layout a lot more. I'm gonna, I still have some stuff to tinker with. Like I've been noticed a couple of things that are missing from here. Um, gonna, the retro, actual retro bat menu looks like it's missing. Unless I just scrolled right past it. But I'm gonna go ahead and add those. I just now finished it. So now let me go through and show you the videos and how they kind of look on here. And we'll make this quick because I gotta get going. So we got Atari 2600. Again, these are the HyperPi Hyper Pi 2 videos. I didn't make these, so I take no credit. But they're much better than getting just some random games. Video. Um, links isn't working. I got to take a look at that. It's it's a weird theme thing. Some of these systems have a different theme name than the system name, which is another thing that I don't understand about this whole naming convention with weird uh, abbreviated names. I like full system names. Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Game Boy Color, you know, complete names so that everything's in order. But anyway, Atari ST. <laughs> And we have to get a 3D NES one. Now, I had to edit the, uh, one of the Team XMLs to get these to show in the snap window at the angle here. So, it, the one that I edited will only work with this theme view, so it's like menu 3 for theme view and type of that. If you tried to use a different one, um, I would have to turn that setting off so we can go back to the normal. But this is the one that I really like, so this is what I set it up for. Yeah, most of you guys have probably seen these before, so I'll just kind of go through them pretty fast here. Switch is one I also have to get a video for. Probably missing a couple of systems too. I had to actually go through and build the XML by hand by copying um, sections of the original XML and pasting them into the order that I wanted them in. And then I'm gonna have to make a backup before I update that way I can drag it back over. But once it's done, if I add a system, I'll just open that and I'll paste it in where I want it to go. And it'll just be done. No reason to even. It's not like it's a big deal, it, it won't do it for you like it. Uh, did previously, but if you're decent with front ends or whatever, you can put stuff wherever you want. Just about. This 
one of my favorite little videos right here, probably. It's pretty nice. everything I just put them in there and then as I add systems I'll rename them to their stupid naming convention with the weird abbreviated names I have to rename every single file because NES is NES and every other friend on the planet is the Nintendo Entertainment System so you have to go through and rename every video it's kind of frustrating I realize that is how it is it's been like that since Retro 5 Retro Back Batacera and all these other systems are the same way. I just don't understand why I could keep perpetuating something that's unorganized. I don't really get that, but but I love the front end overall, so I don't want to complain. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. 